All right, for today's pre recorded lesson, I'm going to go over our social studies lesson for the day. Okay, so today uh, and yesterday we talked about weather and seasons. We watched the book, the video yesterday about goodbye summer, hello autumn, talked about the changing of weather. And today we're going to look at this slideshow to go over the different seasons and what you wear during that season and different holidays that are a part of that season. Okay, so let's get started. A season is a part of the year that has the same kind of weather patterns. There's four seasons, fall, spring, summer, and winter. So fall, the weather is generally cooler. There's fewer hours of sunlight. Clothing that people typically wear in the fall are longer pants, a sweater, or a light jacket. Activities and holidays that happen in the fall is usually when school starts. Halloween and Thanksgiving. And in the, in the fall, plants and animals right here, the leaves change color and fall off the trees. And plant and animals usually start to get ready for winter. In the springtime, the weather is, it can be rainy, sunny and warm. Clothing that people can wear in the spring are t-shirts, shorts or pants. Activities and holidays that you would see in the spring is Earth Day as a holiday. Things that you might see are people riding bikes, planting gardens, more sporting events outside. And in regards to plants and animals, it's usually when flowers begin to grow and bloom. Birds lay eggs, baby animals are born, and seeds sprout and grow. In the summertime, the weather is usually sunny and hot and not much rain. Usually you'll see people in their bathing suits, shorts, t-shirts, activities and holidays in the summer are vac it's vacation time, you might be eating more popsicles and spending more time outside. In the summertime, baby animals eat and grow and trees and bushes stay green. In the winter time, this is the coldest season in the year. In some parts of the country, there's snow. People wear heavy coats, hats, scarves, and mittens. Holidays that you find in the winter are winter holidays like Christmas. Sledding and other snow sports are usually um, around during that time as well. Frost keeps roots safe, so all of the leaves will fall off of the trees. And some animals hibernate, meaning they sleep all winter long like the bear. All right, so for today's homework, you're going to complete two worksheets. The first one is called Dress for the Season. And what I want you to do is to use this word bank and fill in the missing words. If you printed this off, then you are welcome to cut and glue the words here. If not, you can just get a piece of paper, a line piece of paper and write out the sentences. If you don't wanna cut and glue, you can also just write it in. So let me show you, let's answer the first one together. So it says, fill in the blanks using the word bank below to complete the sentence. Number one says, I wear mittens during blank to keep my hands warm. And the answer is winter, okay? So then that's where you would put the word winter. And if you're, when you're done, cross out the word right there. All right, let's look over at the next page of homework. And then this page of homework is called the four seasons. And on this one, I want you to write the name of the season under the picture. Okay. So we've got four different pictures depicting four different seasons. And number one, this season that the picture is showing the the mama bird with the baby bird, this is going to be spring. Okay. So see if you can fill in the rest and um, of the pictures and tell me what season these pictures are representing. All right, if you have any questions about today's homework, please let me know and I'll see you in class.